One of the biggest pieces of the swing that you desire in your swing, whether you know it or not, is forward shaft lean, compressing a ball. That, this leads to just the biggest difference between an amateur and a professional. Every professional you're gonna see is going to de-loft their irons coming into impact. Every single one of them has their hands ahead to some degree. You know, the tour average is roughly around 12 degrees. This is so important for so many reasons, but the main thing is control. Everyone wants consistency. I know you want consistency, and we have to have ways to find this. Well, I've got a great thing that I do with all of my students just so that we can start getting the idea of how we want to visualize coming into impact. Now, this kind of goes back to, I used to play a really, really fun uh, video game when I was younger on Nintendo where you would race the, uh, the turtle, then you'd race like the, the, the hare, and then you'd race the cheetah. It was an old Nintendo racing game. And I love to use this analogy because we can think about it in those terms of steps. And I love to think about getting the hands and the club head in terms of racing so that we can utilize these three things. So stick with me here. This is gonna be, make a lot more sense here in a second. So what we're gonna be doing is we are gonna be racing between our hands and our club head. That's what we're gonna be focusing on. There's, there's gonna be a race. So how this works here is if my hands and my club head are lined up at impact, that would be a perfect tie. If my club head beats the ball or beats my hands to the ball, that would be a lose. We lost that race. And then of course, if our hands get in front of the ball at impact, that would be a win. That would be us winning the race. So why I brought up the Nintendo game is essentially what we wanna do is we wanna start off at a slower pace, win the race at a slower pace. Once we've got that dominated, we're gonna to move to the next piece and then the next piece. And I want you to think about this in a very simple three-step process. Let's beat the turtle, beat the hare, and then beat the cheetah. So the turtle would be the easy swing. That's where we're gonna win the race. So we have to define the finish line. So for us, no matter where the ball is, um, especially with our irons, we're gonna think about the ball being the finish line. And just like we said, if the hands get in front of the ball before the club head, that means we won the race. So now we can think about this in more of a dynamic of saying, hey, I want my hands to get across that finish line before my, hand, my the club does. And this is just another beautiful feel for you to use in your arsenal of working on your mechanics. So the turtle would be a nice, easy swing. I like to think about this as kind of staying underneath the belt. And all we're looking to do and this easy swing is get the hands to win the race. So I want my hands to break in front of the finish line before the turtle does. Or sorry, that would be the club head. So that would be the speed we're swinging at. So all we're looking for is just the hands to beat that line, no matter where it goes. Um, that's gonna be our first piece. Then the second piece would be kind of racing like the hare. That would be more of a uh, three quarter ish swing where we have a little bit more speed, but we still have the same goal and that's to win the race with our hands. So we're gonna take about a three quarter swing here and I'm really just gonna to try to make sure that we win the race. So as we can see there, got the hands out nice and front, good compression. Um, that's exactly what this is gonna do. So you can see I even overdid that a little bit, but the st stability that we get through forward shaft lean is amazing. That's why it's so nice to be able to, to deal off this. Now, that's the turtle and the hare. Now the final piece is once you're comfortable, once you can win that race every time with those two, the first two pieces, now we're just gonna go into the full swing, which would be a full turn. So we have a little half swing under the belt, a little three quarter swing, which is gonna be about a quarter turn or a three quarter turn with the shoulders. Now we're gonna go into a full swing where we have a nice big full shoulder turn and we still have that same goal. We're gonna win the race with our hands. So we're gonna take a nice big full shoulder turn and we're gonna win the race with our hands. And that just felt great. And all I was really focusing on there is getting those hands to win the race through impact. So simple visuals like this can go a long ways as long as we're understanding the end goal. So as we can see here, 199 total distance, I'll take that with a seven iron every single time. That's the other beautiful part about winning the race and getting the compression on the ball. You get so much more energy in the ball than you need to. I don't even really feel like I'm swinging too hard right now, but because that contact was so good, I got really good carry distance. So again, just nice big full shoulder turn and win the race with the hands. Now, there we go, that one's even better. 209 with the seven iron, it just, I mean, that's just absolutely pounded. So that's just the first piece, making sure that we can get the hands to win the race. That's, and that is a huge piece. 
The big thing that's going to allow us to hit shots like this is making sure that we are going to get that club shallowed out underneath the plane and also squared up as we're coming through impact. So if we can shallow out the, the club plane, square up the club and win the race, then we can start getting some crazy compression on the ball and most importantly, crazy consistency. Well, I have just got a fantastic bonus for you. Owner and head instructor Clay Ballard has a great lesson on the anti-roll method that's gonna show you how to do both of these things. And if you can get the anti-roll method down with the sensation of winning the race, then you can take advantage of hitting shots from the right angle with a square club face with the stability of forward shaft lean. You're definitely not gonna to wanna to miss this lesson. You can see that lesson by clicking on the preview that we're gonna play or clicking on the iCard that's gonna pop up in the preview that we're gonna play at the end of this video. If you don't see that iCard, that's fine. You can click on the link in the description below and we'll see you here in the anti-roll method. Here's the bottom line. If you've been taught to roll the club in the early downswing, that causes the shaft to get steep and that steep club causes all your problems. It causes you to hit it way behind the big hitters and way inconsistent with your quality of strikes. So you're in the tall grass and the trees and the hazards all day long. Now the great news is this, there's really only two pieces that you need to know to fix all these problems. The first one is we need to learn the proper way to square up the club face. Instead of rolling the forearms and getting steep, there's another way that the pros do this. Once you learn this right way to square up the club face, then you can shallow out from the inside and everything starts to fit together. Now I'm gonna teach you this right now in what I call the anti-roll method. You may also hear this called the motorcycle move or the tour twist, but let's walk through exactly how to do that. Now what I want you to do is go ahead and go kind of in the last parallel in the downswing. So here, I want my hips to go ahead and be opening up. I want my club to be parallel with the ground and I want my hands to be in front of my right thigh. Now when I take my grip, you're gonna notice that when I do this, the club face is basically straight up and down. So if I'm looking at it from this angle, You'll see the face is straight up and down and my logo of my glove is pointed out in front of me. Now from there,